another beautiful day here. Hope yours is too. Uh, just really happy with the weather here in the Seattle area and at the farm here. Looking at the railroad grade next door, which is now a walking path. And trees are shedding leaves and just heading a mile north on the farm road. Not that road. That's a field I got them all. Kind of messy through here, but uh, I'm supposed to be fixing up this road, which is full of deep chuck holes or I don't know what you call them, ponds. <laughs> so we had some fall rains here about 10 days ago, well, 12 days ago. And so anyway, it's just uh, holds the water, keeps it out. There's a ditch over to the left and the trees there next between the railroad grade and this grade, which parallels it. Not sure if this was a railroad grade at some point or not, but anyway, it's uh, utilized by me. Just doing four miles an hour here, 4.3. It's too rough uh, to go too fast. I got the 32, 36 foot mower folded up uh, the wings behind me. I guess I could. Show that for a second. And uh, we head in towards the last uh, fields here. And the flower field is beyond that. So it is about a mile and a half from one end of the farm to the other, which is pretty incredible for right here so close to Seattle. Uh, you know, such a suburban area here on the east side of Seattle. Uh, Seattle area, Seattle Puget Sound area is about three and a half million, four million people. State population overall, which is much, much larger. This is just three counties, but I'm talking about here, but uh, there's 36 counties in the state. And so uh, 90, of the population is in the Tri-County area here, uh, just east of the Puget Sound, uh, between the Cascades and the Olympic Mountains, uh, Olympic Mountains being on the Olympic Peninsula, west of Seattle, mountains there up to uh, 10, 11,000 feet, and pretty popular national park there and stuff, Olympic National Park, and the whole green forest and other cool things, Nia Bay and, uh, you know, Squim, the lavender capital of the Northwest. Although we have lavender here, the largest lavender farm, probably uh, on the east side, maybe in the Tri-County area. I'm, I'm probably not sure on that, but I, I don't know too many other ones that have 10 acres or more. We're right around that. Anyway, coming down to this field, I got a mow here on the right, and also on the left is the Chateau Saint Michel Winery. You can see that smokestack. I've done videos on that. That's supposedly an old steam plant. There used to be some greenhouses and roses grown over there 100, 110 years ago, uh, up to probably 80, 90 years ago, or probably, yeah, 80 years ago. And anyway, I think it might have been a brick plant making red bricks. Uh, so I've got a video I've done on that. It's a pretty old building, it's actually a mud flood building, sunk in the ground about uh, four or five feet. Uh, so there's soil up to the windows and there's a ramp down in the cool old entry door. Maybe I'll show a little video on that later. Alright, at the field, I'm going to drop the wings down and get mowing. 
It's a leisurely day in the Northwest here, Friday. Thanks for watching. Have a great day yourself. God bless you in every way. Take care.